guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing a get and ready with me video. It's pretty much going to be a talk through and if you want to recreate this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm pretty much doing a look that I did on a client today and I liked it so much. I was like, oh my god, I haven't worn anything like this in a while. So I'm going to be using my Laura Pro, which it's the palette that you love, but somehow, well, it's a palette that I love, but somehow I don't get to use it so much because I've been obsessed with MAC lately, MAC Shadows, but I wanted to show some love and kind of do and recreate that look that I did on my client. I already applied a little bit of cream under my brow bone, so I'm going to go with the taupe and apply that on my crease. And basically, I was not supposed to even film today, but I had such a fun time filming my update video that I was like, oh, let's, why not let's do one more? Oh, and by the way, my foundation, it's the uh, Matte Poreless by Maybelline. And today I'm listening to Dido. I think that's how they call her here. I used to call her... What did I used to call her? I don't remember what I used to call her. Okay, now I'm applying gold. And I'm just dabbing it. You can see a, a little bit of the purple I was wearing before. I've had such a busy Saturday. I had a wedding and it was with a bunch of Venezuelan people. If you don't know, I'm from Venezuela, born and raised, but I live in Florida. It was so weird to have, like to speak Spanish, like everyone speaking Spanish with my accent. It was so weird. I felt like my parents were over on vacation or something. It kind of made me a little sad because I just, I wish I could see my, my family and I have so, so much family over there that it gets so emotional. So I did gold and then I want to go with espresso, which is this dark, dark brown. And I want to focus that on the outer corner of my eyes. Okay, to line my eyes, I'm using the um, Wet n Wild liquid liner. Okay, so I'm actually going to smoke out that black. Just blending everything. I'm using still my Dream Lumi by Maybelline and I know you guys liked my glowing under eye so awesome I got I thought people were gonna hate on me but you guys didn't because it's not for everyone I know having an amazing glow in the dark under eye it's not for everybody so a lot of people wanted me to find a dupe for the um, Hot Sensation by MAC. And it's gonna be tough because it's a pink powder, pinkish powder. So that's gonna be exciting for me to find a dupe for that. But I like a challenge. So I actually have a client at MAC that she also loves them she like really bright under eye and I got her addicted on the hot sensation and she was so mad at me she's like what am I gonna do once it runs out so she told me that she applied um, light scapade under her eyes to set the highlight and I saw a picture and it looked absolutely stunning so I want to try that so Let's see how it turns out. Oh my gosh, I hope it turns out good. So here's the light scapade, and I think she said she applied it with um with a brush, but I'm gonna apply it with um I'm just gonna apply a little bit and see how it starts looking. Oh my god, I'm scared. Let's see. Let's 
So far so good. Does it look like I'm gonna go in the dark or should I put a little more? It, it's looking okay. It's, I'm not scared. Now I'm gonna do my waterline. Oh god. Oh my god. I cannot do this. Hold on. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh. So today, usually on Saturdays, me and my husband have date night. And he asked me what I wanted to do, so I told him I want to go to a fancy restaurant because I want to dress up. So, he's so nice. We don't have a special occasion or anything. Okay, I'm applying black. Okay, to contour my face, I'm using my Anastasia contour kit. And I'm using that one in the middle. It's like the ashy brown. I feel with um, bronzers, you have to go the opposite of what you are. Like if you have a lot of olive, you can go a little warm. And then if you're very warm, you can go olive with your bronzers. Because you're supposed to create dimension. So I feel like if you're an olive girl and then you apply a bronzer that is completely cool, you're gonna look muddy. So keep that in mind. I basically did my um, fake lashes off camera because I had to go to the bathroom and put them on and blah, blah, blah. So. The ones I'm wearing are the Wispies, Wispies, Demi Wispies. And for my blush, I'm doing Gentle by MAC. So I did a little bit of something with a hint of pink on my cheeks and I'm going over it with my bronzer just to like make everything go nice together and for my lips I'm using um, Whirl by MAC I'm just gonna line my lips with it and yes I'm overlining my top lip because that's what's happening now and I'm just gonna fill them in now the lipstick I did on my client it was much lighter but I just like roll too much. And this one is called Smooch by NYC. And I'm just gonna apply it in the middle of my lips. And then I'm going with roll again. And then I'm just going to apply a gloss on top. And the gloss I'm going to uh, use is called Fashion Scoop by MAC. And I'm going to do a little highlight. And I'm using um, Mera Luminizer by The Bomb. And I'm going to apply that in the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so this is pretty much how the makeup looks like. I went ahead and changed my um, my robe and I flat dry, flat ironed my hair, <laughs> flat dried flat iron my hair. So this is how the makeup looks like. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!